Back in her lab, Joy explores how our vocal anatomy compares to the big cats. Lions can roar, they can growl, humans can talk, they can yell, they can sing, and it's all because we both have a voice box or a larynx. This is a specimen of a real human, and this is the spine, this is the soft palate, this is the tongue, and this is our star, the larynx. So I can actually put my finger into the larynx, and where my pinky is emerging down here is the windpipe, or trachea. So what I'm doing right now is actually cutting through the center of the larynx. Pulled this back. Okay, now we can see the vocal fold and it's running back and forth across the airflow. And we notice that it's not a free cord. It's just a shelf of tissue that sticks out. So vocal fold is a better description than vocal cord. This tissue meets the one on the other side, which is right here. And when they come together, they make a bottleneck across the airway. And as they narrow that bottleneck, they vibrate. And that's where sound is made. This large space is able to be modified by the back of the tongue. The tongue can change the shape of that space and give us something that's really unique, vowel sounds. And that's why human speech is so much more complex than any other form of communication that other animals have. This ability to speak and communicate complex ideas is key to the success of our species. We take it for granted but every word we utter relies on tiny adjustments inside our throats. Joy's daughter, Ariella, has volunteered to have her larynx filmed in action. So what we've got is a device that looks down the larynx by dropping down behind the back of the nose so we can look at the larynx from above. Worst part is over, okay? Just great. When Ariella makes a high note, you'll notice that the vocal folds are much tenser. They're closer together and they've been stretched. And go high. And go low. When she makes a lower note, there's more of a gap between them and they flutter more visibly. Good. You want to do something funky? Doing with a beatbox? Oh, yeah, let's try that. Ready? And go. So why do we love the larynx so much? It's a structure that sits in the middle of your throat, and it's probably the most important, least known structure in the human body. Okay, that was fun, Ariel. Well done. Ah! Oh! Tissue, mm -hmm. tissue. Everything I know about the larynx I owe to my dear friend and colleague, Jeff Leitman, who was actually my graduate school mentor. The larynx is responsible for protecting the airway. If it doesn't work, you couldn't do a host of functions you couldn't lift a heavy object. You couldn't go to the bathroom and poop if you were constipated. And a lady couldn't give birth to a baby without somebody helping. Think about this. The next time you're in the bathroom, you're on the bowl, and you have to poop, but you're constipated, what you have to do is close your vocal folds. Hey! Those folds are closed and you're able to use intra-abdominal pressure to help nature do its duty, so to speak. The larynx allows all mammals to control the flow of air from the lungs. What makes humans special is the range of sounds it allows us to create. All thanks to a remarkable transformation that happens in babies. Baby humans are almost identical to all other mammals. Their larynx locks into the back of the nasal region. They have a direct airway. So a baby can be breathing at the same time it's swallowing. And it's why a baby can remain on its mother's breast. Now something radical and amazing happens in humans. We're going to break this mammalian mold. The larynx is going to move away as the baby grows older. Physically, by the end of the second year, they've started to make more space. Think of it as going from a bugle to a trumpet. We get more tubing. The ability to increase sound production, particularly many vowels, is now shot up enormously. We can now explore a new thing, and this is amazing. This gives us our ability for articulate speech. But there's a price. Nature always makes you pay. The next time you get a little piece of food in the wrong pipe, it's because the larynx has shifted and gone down. 
So you lose something with change and you gain something with change. Obviously, in the course of our history, we've gained a lot.